With more on the impact of the email investigation so close to the election, we welcome back Carlos Watson. He's been covering the campaign for Ozzy Media, the online news magazine that he founded. Carlos, good morning. Good morning. We don't even know what's in these emails, but we have all this noise all of a sudden just so shortly before the election. We love October surprises. Yeah, when, and who knows there might be more, who knows there might be more the way this is going, Carlos. But, right. I mean, how badly can Clinton be hurt by something when, in fact, we don't even know what it is? You know, uh, not clear, uh, but I will say this. The early voting that's happened, where we've seen more than 10 million people vote, and there's some hopes that perhaps 40% of people will vote, um, if things do go south for Clinton a little bit, even a little bit here, yep. she'll be happy that she got early voters out in Florida, North Carolina, and other places. And right now, those early votes look good for her, uh, particularly out west in some swing states like Colorado and Arizona and Nevada. We can't know for sure, but the early indications are that more Democrats, or at least more than we saw in 2012, are leading her way. If she is elected, what's the impact then if she's in the White House and trying to get things done? Well, you, you know, could be dramatic, Dana, uh, for a couple of reasons. We saw plenty of investigations during the first Clinton era, right. uh, and certainly there were uh, clearly clouds uh, right now. And I think one of the hopes of uh, Hillary Clinton had been that they would win the Senate and that would forestall some of the investigations, maybe even the House. But now some of the races in places like Pennsylvania, places like North Carolina, where they hope to pick up seats, could go away and it could embolden. Right. So this has challenges. a bigger impact possibly on those Senate races even. No two ways about it. Also in the House, you know, in the House right now, now, uh, a lot of the Trump supporters are very upset with Paul Ryan for not having been more supportive. There are threats that they may challenge him, try to quote unquote canter him or overturn him. And part of what they may say to him in order to hold on to his, uh, his role there is you need to do vigorous prosecution or pursuit of these charges. As we heard Donald Trump said that, that this Clinton scandal is worse than Watergate. Uh, polling numbers for him recently had not been very encouraging. Does this rally his base? Uh, you, you know, if nothing else, it certainly changes the conversation. Conversation has not been good for him yep. over the past couple of weeks. Obviously, the Billy Bush tape and other things. And even where he did seem to have a good opening with Obamacare and the rise in premiums there, instead he was at a new hotel uh, cutting the ribbon. So that may not have been as helpful. But he certainly hopes so. Um, but again, I go back and say whether or not this helps Donald Trump one or two percentage points. Remember that Secretary Clinton at the moment seems to be up some five to eight points. Mm -hmm. uh, which is critical. And even if you were to give all the swing states to Donald Trump right now, she still seems in many of the analysis um, to have north of 270 electoral votes under her control. So he would not only have to get those swing states, but start to take a state like Pennsylvania and put it in his column. All right. Carlos Watson, thanks for being with us. This Good morning. to be with you guys. Good morning. Tomorrow morning on Face the Nation here on CBS, John Dickerson's guests will include Vice President Joe Biden and Republican vice presidential nominee Mike Pence.